a sweet science to boxing the there's a sweet science to boxing the The best and the coolest thing about my career is called the sweet science. There's a sweet science to boxing the It's to hit and not get hit. Let's get to it. Now this video ain't gonna be too long, man. I just got some news. So Turkey Alashik has posted something on Twitter that's suggesting that he's going to be working with Terrence Crawford in the future. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what it's going to be. We only know that it's going to be obviously a boxing match. I mean, Terrence Crawford is a boxer. So, he's most likely going to be funding something for Terrence Crawford. This is what he put on Twitter. He didn't really say anything. He just put a one of those emojis where the guy got his hands out. Then he put a boxing glove after that. Now, we can translate this emoji in two ways. You can either say, I don't know, or it is what it is. Now, given the fact that he put a boxing glove behind it, I'm going to have to translate it as he's saying, it is what it is. Give him what he's asking for. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and give it to him to make this fight. It is what it is. And the reason why I'm saying that I think he mean it like that because Terrence Crawford came behind him and posted this on his Twitter. So as you can see, he reposted what Turkey Alashik posted. And on his emoji, he put the shh, the be quiet emoji. So he basically saying, we definitely going to work something out. We're going to get something going. But for right now, just be quiet about it. I'm going to announce it when the time is right. Now, somebody can easily tell me, bro, you reaching. Maybe I am. But then again, what if I ain't? And I'm guessing he's probably going to fund this fight between Terrence Crawford and Jerome Boost Ennis. If it ain't that, then I'm guessing a rematch with Errol Spence at 54. And if it ain't that, then I'm guessing Undisputed versus Undisputed with Canelo Alvarez. But then again, the Canelo Alvarez, that one is kind of unlikely. You got one fighter who already got some lined up. Canelo, he's already lined up with Hammy McGill. Then you got Boots, who ain't got nothing lined up. You got Errol Spence, who ain't got nothing lined up. So it could be either one of those guys. Now, when it comes to those two guys, I'm just going to have to go with Boots. I'm going to have to go with that's the fight that they're trying to get done. I mean, Eddie Hearn already said that that's the fight that he's going to try to get Boots to have. So Boots can try to be undisputed at 147. Because Terrence Crawford is the one that got all the belts at 147, except the IBF. That's the one that Boots got right now. And if they were to fight, of course, it would be a unification bout to see who becomes undisputed. And if Terrence Crawford win this... This would be him becoming three-time undisputed. This would be Boots becoming undisputed his first time. Moving right along to Adrian Broner. Now, it's this pop star named Koyla Ray. I don't know her because I don't really listen to pop like that. So, I didn't know who she was until now. But, she was live on her Instagram. And Adrian Broner invited her to a fight on Instagram Live. And this is what happened. Check this out. It's not like I didn't hit all day. I, I nibbled at it, though. I had a bad hangover this morning. I nibbled at the breakfast. The bacon wasn't, didn't taste like Canadian bacon. Um, trying to bag me on an Instagram live is fucking crazy. <laughs> like, dead ass. Get the fuck on. Okay? Go on the fuck here. Okay? I'm not interested. <laughs> like, that's fucking corny. The fuck are we doing here? <laughs> I'm going. I'm getting the fuck off. Go look at my post. I'm about to post my cover. Right, bye. So listen, I'm going to have to say it like this. That's an L. <laughs> For Adrian Broner, that's definitely an L. You know, especially the way she came out and declined it. Especially the fact that she said it was corny. And listen, it's an L, man. You got to accept it. But in his defense, what was he supposed to do? I mean, think about it. If he would have direct messaged her, she would be walking around calling him a creep. She would have exposed that as well and called him a creep for messaging her and coming into her DMs. She definitely would have called him a creep. I guarantee you that. So he did it publicly where it wouldn't be creepy. He did it to where everybody can see it to see he only invited her to his fight. He didn't try to say anything sexual or out the way or he went out of pocket, you know, because sometimes somebody will come and be like, oh, he was in my DMs saying all this crazy stuff, blah, blah, blah. So he did it publicly where everybody can see it. And even though it was a little corny, what is, I mean, what do you expect him to do? But I just wanted to put that out there that he didn't really do anything but invite her to the fight and she wasn't feeling it. But I just want to know if there's any women watching, what do you expect him to do? Like, how would you 
tell him to approach a situation like that? Or how would you want any man to approach a situation like that if he don't know you and he don't want to directly message you? What do you expect him to do? <laughs>